Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, Gardening in Cold Spring Harbor. Welcome back to Long Island, New York, Zone 7A. So today, this morning, seems to be a, a cooler, milder spring day. Well, don't let this cooler weather fool you guys. We are expecting to reach almost 80 degrees by tomorrow. So today on this cooler day, I decided to come out and to take a look at my rose garden area, guys. You've seen this area before in my previous videos. I made a video just a few days ago giving you a tour of my home garden in the month of April. If you haven't seen that video, but would still like to see it, it is still available on my channel, Gardening in Cold Spring Harbor. I love seeing this pop of color, you guys. The reds, the pinks, the purples, so much color, you guys. But unfortunately, this color will not last forever. Once the spring season will come to an end, this color, these spring blooming bulbs will start stop blooming and unfortunately I'm going to lose that pop of color that I love so, so much. So what can you gardeners do in this case? How can you keep that pop of color going all the way through your summer season, guys? So why don't you join me today in this video, I will tell you and show you exactly how I keep my colors going and thriving all through the end of summer. So if you guys will enjoy watching this video today, show me that support by clicking thumbs up below this video. Leave your comments below. And if you haven't yet done so, no need to be shy guys subscribe to my channel gardening in cold spring harbor now come with me let's do some gardening so again guys spring is my favorite season hands down because after a cold boring winter season with all the trees being bare nothing blooming here comes spring with that pop of color you see the pinks the yellows the purples the whites the reds all the colors start to pop out guys the trees start to bloom our spring bulbs start to bloom but how do we keep that color going all the way through the end of summer i plant lots and lots of summer blooming bulbs you guys and one example of those summer blooming bulbs are our gladiolus flowers guys they are absolutely stunning they're beautiful they're very very easy to grow and to maintain and they give you that robust that gorgeous pop of color all the way through the end of summer and if you guys plant your early blooming gladiolus your midsummer blooming gladiolus and your late summer blooming gladiolus you keep that color going and going and gladiolus comes in variety of colors anything from your greens to your purples to pinks to reds to whites you name it so let's talk all about planting growing gladiolus bulbs today so gladiolus flowers make every garden bed and every table vase look full. So for a striking flower show and for stunning cut flowers, grow gladiolus, guys. I promise you it is super, super easy to grow gladiolus, but they give you just the most amazing, beautiful pop of color all summer long. So the spring planted corms or bulbs grow very, very quickly and easily. So gladiolus produces flower spikes that bloom in varieties of color. 
This makes them the gladiolus plant first choice for tucking into young perennial flower gardens. Why? Because you can use some of that added color while your small young perennial plants will essentially reach their maturity. So now let's talk about planting your gladiolus. How do you plant? So when it comes to lighting, guys, plant your gladiolus flowers in full sun. They will bloom in partial shade as well. However, the colors will not be so vivid and you will not see that big boost in the height. So when it comes to soil, gladiolus prefers a well, well draining soil. So the corms or the bulbs will rot if the soil gets too wet and lacks that drainage. So if you know that your soil contains a high amount of clay, you must loosen up your soil about 12 inches down and amend it with either compost or manure. So for those of you, my fellow gardeners who have never grown or even purchased a gladiolus uh, bulbs or corms, I just wanted to show you uh, quickly what these gladiolus corms look like. So again, gladiolus comes in varieties of colors. I have here an example of a, a bag of corms that I purchased earlier this season. So this bag is of the purple flora gladiolus variety. This pack comes with 25 corms. Uh, this bag cost me $10.98. It shows you exactly what the plant looks like. It tells you that it prefers full sun to partial shade. It will reach potentially a height of 50 to 60 inches. It's a summer bloomer. This variety is also great uh, for containers or borders and makes an excellent choice for cut flowers. So it comes usually in a bag like this. And let me show you what the corms look like. So here you go. So this is an example of a gladiolus corm. So some are smaller, some are substantially larger. And of course, you could see where the top is and where the bottom of the corm is. So this would be this tippy tippy thing would be the top and the bottom, of course, is where the root system is. So the larger the corm, essentially the bigger and larger plant you will end up having in your garden. So once you pick a full, full sun location in your home garden, it is time to plant your gladiolus corms. So how do you plant gladiolus corms? How far apart do you need to space them? And how deep do you need to bury your corms for them to grow and to thrive? So you want to space your corms between six to 10 inches apart, and you need to bury them about two to six inches deep. The larger the corms, the deeper you need to bury them in your soil. So when should you plant your gladiolus corms? Plant them at least two weeks prior to your anticipated frost date. That is ideal. If you guys are a little concerned about still possibly having some uh, cold nights and you're just a little worried, it's okay guys, you can wait a little longer and plant them in the early, early spring. And if you want to get continuous bloom of color, you can plant these corms every two weeks until sometime mid of June. So how will that help by planting your gladiolus corms every two weeks until sometime in early to mid-June? This will stagger the blooms and the flowers and will allow you to see that continuous pop of color all summer long. You can also extend your flowering season of your gladiolus plants. How? by planting the early gladiolus variety, the mid-blooming gladiolus varieties, and your late 
blooming gladiolus varieties. So your gra gladiolus plants have a narrow sword-like leaves and tall, tall flower stalks. Some flower stalks can grow to be as tall as two to four feet in height, but they only spread about one foot wide. So your gladiolus plants or flowers will need to be staked. You can either use stakes, cages, or supports. So your gladiolus plants will not be damaged or fall potentially down during winds. So get those stakes or cages ready if you choose to plant and grow your gladiolus. So I also like to get a little bit ahead of the game when I grow my gladiolus. So when I plant a new set of gladiolus corms, like I will be doing here today in Long Island, New York, Zone 7A, I always have my three feet stakes on hand and ready. So once I plant my corms into the ground, I position my three foot stake right in that spot. Not only will that give almost immediate support to my gladiolus flowers, this will also remind me exactly where I placed and buried those corms. So how much watering does gladiolus flower need? It likes to be well watered, you guys. So if there is no rain in the forecast in your growing zone, make sure you give your plant at least one inch of water per week. Another important uh, topic to discuss when it comes to planting and growing gladiolus flowers. What do you do in terms of fertilizing your plants? What kind of fertilizer do they need? Do they need any fertilizer at all? So when you are planting your gladiolus corms, you do need to add lots and lots of compost and or manure to your um, planting area, planting zone. I like to add at least three to four inches of manure to my soil prior to placing the corms into the ground. Also, once your plants reach at least 10 inches in height, it is time to fertilize your gladiolus flowers. I like to use the Spoma Organic Flower Tone as my fertilizer for my gladiolus flowers. So here you go, guys. I think I have everything that I need today in order to plant my new batch of gladiolus flowers. Of course, I have my organic hummus and manure. As, as I said earlier, gladiolus does like very fertile soil. I have my three foot garden stakes over here, gardening gloves, a shovel, and my three gladiolus varieties. So the gladiolus green star came with 24 uh, bulbs in a pack. I have my gladiolus pastel mix. This one came with 50 bulbs in this bag should be a mix of colors purples pinks whites and of course i have the purple flora which came with 25 corms in a bag so looks like i have everything let's get planting so when amending your soil prior to placing your corms into the grounds make sure you don't forget to add at least two to four inches of either your compost or manure and again the rule of thumb for spacing your gladiolus corms space them six to ten inches apart and roughly two to six inches deep so this is it for this gardening video you guys thank you so much for joining me here today in long island new york zone 7 a. If you guys liked and enjoyed watching this video, show me that support by going below this video and clicking the thumbs up icon. Makes me very happy to see that you guys are watching my videos and are finding to be very helpful and useful. Leave your comments below. Tell me all about your home gardens. Do you plant or grow gladiolus? 
maybe now that you watch this video you're going to go out and get some gladiolus corms and pop them into your gardens tell me all about that you guys and if you haven't yet done so do so today subscribe to my channel gardening in cold spring harbor and if you never want to miss any of my new upcoming gardening videos all you have to do is click the bell icon it is also below this video youtube will alert you will notify you every time i'll upload a new gardening videos now everybody stay healthy happy and be well and i'll see you again in my new upcoming gardening videos bye guys